Start recording studio mode. All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's not. Mm, it's not alcoholic, but they got shit inside. So what can we say? Mm, how are you today? Yeah, good. Man. Uh, good, uh, yeah. For those of you still still alive, alive and kicking. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Still doing it. Still doing it. Now, last time I hear you're in the band still, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I've got um, another three guys joined the band since um, October last year, so it's like another revamp. Oh, fair enough. What kind of <laughs> style of the music that you guys play this time? Um, it's more like, originally it was like thrash death, so thrash metal, death metal, because I've got you similar to like Glenn Benton in uh, Max Cavalier style vocals. You look so like Glenn Benton, like young Glenn Benton, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my other days, I used to get mixed up with like uh, Dave Mustaine, um, Max Cavalier. Yeah? You know, I've got a dark look for Glenn Benton and that, and the attitude, but again, yeah, sometimes I can bark it out. <laughs> sometimes you can say that, don't be racist, you know what I mean? That's what you have to tell them. Yeah, I can. I yeah. can bark it out, mate. Yeah, I can. I can let them rip. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I just got yeah. a. So, what position do you play this time? Yeah, I'm vocalist, um, guitarist. He's still singing, huh? Sorry. He's still singing. Yeah, for Enforce, so. Yeah, so he's still singing for an Enforce band. Yeah, man, I'll never stop. Yeah. Yeah. Is Only he... band, mate. Yeah. Only it's too much having being in more than. Fucking one band, all these people like in two or three bands, and yeah. not this uh, little black duck. <laughs> I don't know how they can do that, but how do they, how do they do it? Man? How do they do it? Like I've got a repertoire of twenty-five years. I got to goddamn remember, let alone get another band and try and remember their shit. That's what I'm saying. I don't know how people can do that one, two or three different band. You know, like they must be brilliant in the head. You know, like even 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 yeah, some. Well, Sorry. Yeah, unless, unless there's money involved, I can understand. <laughs> well, I was speaking with someone the other day from uh, from Europe. This is European guy. Let me just put the slide on so I don't look like a Negro. <laughs> uh, I was speaking with this guy from uh, where he where he came from. Uh, but European guy, he just he couldn't understand it when I tell him in Indonesia, most of the musician doesn't have any other job. Music is their job. And uh, they can yeah. they can create the industry, but at the same time they become a slave to the system, like cigarette company or you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I, I don't know much about the um, the Asian scene. Like when we first um, was signed to Sonic Wave, that was in Singapore and Malaysia. Yeah. So I used to do shitloads of trades. In the late nineties and two thousands, with the, um, the Asian metal community in that, and then when I got into um, a few bands in Indonesia, when we got into rock and solo, it was through um, a guy who used to trade tapes with in the early days um, from Grind Budo, which was Frank. Grind Budo, yeah, sad story about the people. Yeah, he passed. Sad because he was supposed to be like even talk, talking to Krishna. He said, "Oh, he was trying to be like the, the next monstrosity," you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, people you meet. You know, like uh, there was another band called Slow Death in the early, early days and stuff like that. And uh -huh. like, mostly um, Abattoir and like black, black, black metal bands from Thailand. So we, I used to like talk to a lot of the um, Asian bands because, you know, they're, they're, they're the closest opera next to Australia, you know. But um, yeah, it's interesting because, you know, you go over to Indonesia, it's a totally different, totally different, mate, with the, with the music and the way they treat it. You know, it's a lifestyle. It's it's a culture. Well, have a look at the industry they're building in there. It's just crazy. I mean, like, we will not believe it how how big the industry nowadays over there. You know, I mean, I remember the World yeah. Bank mentioned uh, in one of the uh, what do you call that one? The, the press release, like they reckon to the future, Indonesia will be the country that will making money uh, from from the music. You know what I mean? From their music stuff. I mean, I can understand that. Like, yeah. see like that, the merchandise I have now, that's a dead promit one. But like, it's a DIY, yeah? It's DIY, but like I say, you know, they have to, they have to put their mind to it. They, put, they have to put all their energy. And at the same time, the cost of the labor over there 
it's way cheaper so you can have that facility you know what i mean luxury i explained to this guy it's like in australia if you wanna if you wanna pressing a cd you're not gonna be able to pressing only 100 minimal minimal have to be 500 isn't it <laughs> yeah like you, yeah like you go over there man like when we did um rock and solo i think it was like um that was before Hamasonic sort of like took over the year after. I think yes, it yes, yes, like, yes. Like, Are you guys going there from uh, from the sun work, is that? Yeah. Yeah, well. Um, was, it, um, was it, there was, there was about 12,000 people inside, but there was 25,000 people outside. outside. It's a big fan of you. Yes, yes, yes. You went outside, you got, you got mobs, you got mobs. It's like, where the hell is yeah. Like Jesus Christ, you know. Yeah, I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, well, what happened is if you, you guys go through the sound work that time, we actually I was, you know, I was speak with, with Brad and uh, with what's his name, fucking Dyson. Uh, that's how I bring the psychoptic before, you know. That's what they started of that. I mean, like they just like uh, guinea pig for them, like because they they sort of like. It's so hard to dealing with Indonesian thing. So that's where the beginning of that. So obviously the second phase one is you guys. That's pretty amazing. You know? Yeah, I remember that. I remember seeing footage of you in the crowd. I think it was the... Uh, that's before you guys, yeah. The second solo? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, they, and then that's when I'm, when I'm linking them with the Summer Sonic. Yeah. yeah. And was it Burr? Was it like you? You've come over like with Burger Kill and all that when they've come over the DIY yeah. wave over here, I think. Yes, yes, it is. Well, you're talking about that. That's what about DIY things. I mean, like, I remember that back in the day. I don't know if you remember me at that time. I have a long hair. I used to giving away CD to everyone. I went to your guys' so I went to uh, Dick's World, Discord. So uh, I went to, <laughs> you know what I mean? And to Entrails back in uh, uh, so. I used to carry a CD, I burn some disc, and I used to give it away to everyone uh, yeah. about the Indonesian band thing. I mean, I started like MySpace era, you know what I mean? If you remember MySpace era, yeah. and I have to do it by myself. I, I, love, mean, my, I, reckon, yeah, I love MySpace, like MySpace was a shame. When More privacy, I, I reckon. It was, it, was band, it was band focused, it was better. It's it very better. glamour, it's Facebook glamour Facebook too. Program. Yeah, it killed it. Facebook has killed it. <laughs> uh, I, I know. It's too personal, I reckon, the Facebook. Especially with the... Yeah. We become... I, even me, myself, is like, fell to that bullshit for one stage. It's like, checking the like, checking the comment and all that shit. But now I don't have... I don't, I don't really care about it anymore. But you know what I mean? Oh, who like my this? Who like my that? You know? I guess I'm just getting old and uh, my skin getting thicker this day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's the thing, man. Like, you know... Like I used to say to people, like um, when we were, when we first started, like we if we had a like the biggest crowd we used to have was between I think six fifty people. I remember when you guys playing. Everyone told me. Have like two, yeah, if we had if we had under two fifty three hundred, we're upset. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now, like now, um, you'd be lucky. To get 100 to 150 people, and if yeah, but don't forget, don't forget, you done rocking solo. Not many people done rocking solo. Not many been doing it. You well, know yeah, what I mean? Did... No, because like um, even with um, when we met up with the guys, because at the same time we had Death Angel, Cataclysm. Yeah, I remember that one. Uh, yeah. Boys from Europe, and Durain. I was talking to Deranged, and this guy go, "Look, in our country." We, we go to our local pub, we play to 50 people, maybe a man and a dog. Yeah. We go to Death Fest in USA, we play to 5,000. We yeah. come here, we play to 8,000, 12,000, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know, I know, country. yeah. That's pretty no crazy, really yeah. <laughs> the experience is out there, right? It's like, oh my God, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they, they pull on, you know? But I guess that's how it is. I mean, like, Indonesian love their music. I know, like, a lot of uh, things in there, like, sort of, like, not... Comply, comply to what, what I see things, things you know, like, like I'm very big about these tobacco, tobacco things, like, like sponsoring them. them. The, the, that's that's a, the, the only objection I have is them, them. Because, because I was, that, that, that time, when, when, uh, when, when I started working with them, my brother actually, I have to spend a lot of money, because my brother uh, getting, get, uh, like, 
If it, TV? In, in, in you know, from smoking? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I was so upset at that time. And I was watching kids over there, like, what's that one? 13, 14? They swapping their, uh, the, the ticket. You know, yeah, like, the kind of the ticket. They swapping that for a packet of cigarettes. That, that was destroying me. That, that was destroying, destroying me. I mean, I mean like, like education about it. I mean, so, so many people saying, like, yeah, but there's a choice, but it's, it's about, about education. education. If you're not starting it now, you know, it's, it's not going to be happen. happen. It's about, so, so now, I think they're a lot better. They're not gang who about it. I mean, I mean even, even, even the, the jarum, the, the other company that are doing the walking in the morning, they come from Indonesian cigarette, but at the same time, they didn't do like they used to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, I was thinking, like, you have the sponsors, like, I know with, with Amazonic, I was told that, I think his name's Christian as well, a young boy. He's like, passed away. He uh, owns the draft beer. No, he, he owns the... That's why Krishna is passed away. He used, he used to be the, the guitar and sing, I mean, bass player and singer for the band called Suckerhead. Oh, you know, that's right. Right. Yeah, he's, he's legend, legend back home. Uh, uh, the best Indonesian band that are doing a trust. A trust metal, like a dead trust metal type thing, is them. Uh, with other band, band called Rotor. Other than Indonesian band, band called Rotor, yeah? They're playing with Sepultura back in the day, in 91 or 90. So, but that's, 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 that's the beginning. And all of them guys also passed away now. Really fucking amazing. Yeah, well, that's because of the, the lifestyle with the, the, the smoking, you know what I mean? It's like everyone smokes over there. Well, you know, if I say that, that if, if I, I say, say that, that, no one's going to believe me. me. Well, well, that's, that's, we, we, coming, we, we go, go back to the same conversation again. again. It's the same in, you, in, in, um, in Europe, you know, like you go to, when I went to Partisan uh, in Germany, yeah. um, you know, like catching on the bus, everyone was smoking, you know. Yeah. The, the young youth, they, they drink Listerine, bottle of Lea, you know what I mean? And it's like, not mental too. too. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's like, yeah, they're not really concerned about um, well, the boy, you know, they're just like, yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but yeah, it's, you can tell they just have to make a cat, uh, make a dollar. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot the edge is not fully like that, I forgot about that one, uh, like how they, you know, like, they glorify the cigarette. I don't know why, I don't understand it. They glorify the whole smoking thing, you know. Yeah, well, now, now it's those um, vapes. You know what I mean? You know the funny thing about the vape? But you know the funny thing about the vape? You know the funny thing about it? There's actually glycerin. You know that? You know that? Migoreng? Yeah. Everybody knows Migoreng. You know the oily Migoreng? That's the same thing. Yeah. That's pretty much the same. It's a glycerin. Yeah. It's a pretty little oil. Yeah. 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 Uh, this the thing that, that we do, do why? Like, like, this. like when you, when you, there's so many bands. There's so many, there's so many bands over everywhere. You know what I mean, like even when we did, um, and it was good for that was a good thing about rock and roll. They gave a lot of the local bands the an opportunity. Yeah, like during the day, yeah, yeah opportunity. Like, you know, and I probably would have mixed mixed them a bit bit more. You know what I mean? I'll, mm. Like, I was even saying to Krishna, I said, like, you know, we don't really have to headline, you know, you can stick us in the middle mm. somewhere during the day, you know, so like, whatever, and stick a few, like, local bands around us, you know? Yeah, but... And stuff like that, you know? That, but the beauty is about it, but, uh, what do you call? The beauty about that one, like, the experience to see something different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, people intrigued, like, well, how they're playing over there? What's the difference? You know what I mean? I reckon that the entertainment is just a bit different, you know. This thing that we do, that metal thing is like that we love, it's just such a unique uh, community. And, uh, you know, the support from each other is fucking amazing. The euphoria that we go through is amazing too. Uh, you know, it's something like I keep coming back to it again, you know what I mean? Like, I won't lie, I listen to all kind of music, you know, I listen to hip hop, I listen to hardcore, I listen to every fucking music. The only thing I don't listen is fucking uh, techno, doop, 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 doop. The rest, I appreciate all the music. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of Johnny Cash. I'm a big fan yeah, of... 
Oh, yeah, there's some Premier Western that drives me nuts, man. I used to play in the early days with my old man. Yeah. That's, some of that stuff drives me nuts. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't like the nightclub. Yeah, I don't like the techno. Nah, yeah. nah. I'm definitely just a... Yeah. A big question in here. A big question before we go somewhere. A big question. What's your favorite band when you're growing up? Okay, so when I was young, as in like commercial, I used to love Duran Duran. All right, and then through my is the ponytail the one that you like or what? Is the mallet or what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I think I used to love the Kiss. Kiss, yeah, right? Kiss makes sense. And Black Sabbath. Sabbath, yeah. Black Sabbath, ACDC, Deep Purple. Okay, so that was my sort of coming up, and then yeah, so going into the metal, and that is like I went like um, possessed, turned up. I went, oh, holy, holy my, what the hell is that? Coroner. Oh, my God. Destruction. So it's not a guilty pleasure. It's just a know, statement, eh? Yeah, just like open your eyes up to that stuff, you know? Yeah. And, and when black metal first turned up in the late 80s, it was like satirical. I'm like, holy, whoa, what the hell is oh, that stuff? Dimmu Borgir and all that shit. So, They're just amazing, I reckon. You know? Uh, I won't lie. Yeah. My favorite singer back in the day when I was growing up, guess who? Lenny fucking Kravitz. In school? No, no, no. Lenny Kravitz. You know, he used yeah, to be... I used to love all of his shit. Oh, you know? Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to go my way. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah, he's, yeah, he's pretty talented. Yeah. Yeah, because I was just getting confused at the time, you know, with the, um, the guy from, fuck, what is his name? From Guns N' Roses, Slash. Slash. Uh, Slash. Because they look similar. You reckon? Yeah, you know, because it looks similar to the hair. <laughs> uh, one of them dreadlock, one of them now, but eh? yeah. Yeah, last time I see Lenny Kravitz yeah. in that movie, uh, what do you call that one? Mockingbird? Oh, not Mockingbird, what do you call that? Hunger Game. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's playing Hunger Game. Right. Yeah, yeah, Hunger Game. Game. So that's, yeah. a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a band that you're a favorite band, eh? What the best band that you have? Um, yeah, growing up, yeah, it's like... As in my favourite band, like as in, which I always turn to, which I really like, is Suicidal Tendencies. Woohoo! I love Suicidal. Play your allegiance. You know that song? Ah, oh. I'm fucking. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah, mean, I love Suicidal Tendencies. I mean, uh, I mean, Mike in the ninety-five. I mean, Mike Moore in ninety-five. You know the Mike, you know the singer, Psycho Mike. Yeah, the singer. Yeah, yeah. I think um, he used to I live. Know. He used to live in Margaret River. Yeah, well, he's over in Queensland now. Yeah, but he used to. He did a because they did a video in Perth. Um, yeah, the skate skateboard one. Yeah, he lived in Margaret River. In Perth, so. You know, in Margie, next to yeah. where you are, that's where he used to live because he's a surfer. Yeah. Yeah. Because when the first time I come to yeah. Australia, I was in Northern Beach, you know? Like, where is all the suburbs, like Narabin, DY, Colaroy, all of the area. That's where I used to go. I uh, growing up with a lot of suburbs in, Austra in Australia. And I see uh, suicidal tendencies. Actually, not suicidal, the other band, uh, Psycho Michael. His other band. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's it. Yeah. yeah, like him. But How like many he, bands? Even down south, you got, um a lot of a lot of bands have bought like places down there, like you know the drummer from Anthrax owns a property down south. Oh really? In WA. As oh, really? Well. Yeah, that's what I heard as well. Like ages ago, like because when they all come over, they're like WA. They just go, oh my god. So like a lot of them own property down south. So when they come down, they like they stay down here for a while. Why didn't they last that you one? Know, even when um, even when even when COVID was um going, ACDC did their last album down south, recorded and everything. Oh, I see this is because of, obviously because of uh, what his name. Uh, what his yeah, name? Well, even though Bon Scott's like from WA, yeah, but like um, originally like Angus and they're, they're Scottish, like from my heritage, but they're originally from Sydney, and then yeah, so even though Bon Scott was from yeah. here, but yeah, they were actually in WA recording because WA had the less restrictions. Yeah. When so I down south in the studio, when I uh, when I first time, so. time I come to Western Australia, I was working in Fremantle. Tattoo Studio is called WA Inc. 
And every fucking day, everyone just talking about ACDC, about Bon Scott, this Bon that, Bon Fire, this Bon that. But I tell you something about from any band that actually I dislike, you won't believe it. ACDC. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I can give you the reason why. I give you the reason why. My reason, yeah. Uh, when yeah. you know, growing up listening to a lot of metal, like I used to, hear, I used to get this criticized by by people. They said to me like, "Oh, what the music that you listen? Ra 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 ra. You can't even understand what they're saying." Then you go to the pub and you're watching them dancing to the fucking ACDC. I say, "What the fuck? <laughs> What's the difference?" You understand what I mean now? Yeah, yeah so um, when, when, how old were you when you first heard your ACDC song though? Oh, I love ACDC first time. I dislike, it's different with the I don't like their music. But I dislike them because of that situation. Yeah. Not the music. Yeah, the original days, the original days like when we used to say we called, we, we called Bogans, all right? So that I know that one. Who, um, I know that one. Who who? Yeah. I'm in yeah, Australia since 94, 93, 94. 94. So yeah, everyone I, was dressed in black jeans, DB, tight jeans, flannelette, tight jeans, mullet. All right. Yeah, yeah. And if you went to a concert, they're all head banging. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, full on. Right. Yeah. Now you get people with nice shirts. <laughs> but you understand what <laughs> I mean now? Like my but bikers were saying um, with white, white trainers. You know, yeah, the bikers, yeah. Outlaws don't wear white trainers. You know. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They wear fucking. Yeah. Shout. yeah but what i'm saying is that's the bigger problem for me about the acdc thing because i they used to hustle the fuck out of me when i was tattooing i used to listen to like a metal metal stuff and they used to tell me what well, that shit that you listen ra, 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 ra. i remember that them fucking well ra, 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 ra. or the other one they call it fucking crusty demon music thing you remember when the crusty demon started using the oh, the crusty yeah, yeah, and they used to hustle the fuck out of me. They used to hate the the, the music I play, but at the same time, I went out to the, with them with the pub. And I see them fucking dancing to the ACDC. I say, hang on a second, <laughs> hang on a second. That music that I was listening is come from the fucking ACDC guitar. The riff they're fucking playing is from ACDC. The pickup guitar they're using is from AC fucking DC. Even the fucking amp they're using is from the ACDC. You know what I mean? Yeah. I used to go in to see uh, Allegiance. I used to like them. You know, WA Allegiance. Yeah, well, we got we got the support gig for them because um, they're doing a gig at the Charles in October 22nd. Oh, really? This year, so we've got, yeah, so we got the support. I think there's us and Infected and, and, and another band. Yeah, them boys are so, yeah, to die, eh? Charles Hotel, Saturday night, October 22nd. That's, so that's in about three months' time. Them boys are to die, eh? Yeah, so you've got um, Conrad, the original singer. You've got, um, you've got Stoney on guitar. You've got the original drummer. And I think they've got a, a a few mates playing bass and the rhythm guitar to fill in. Because I know Campo's still over in UK, the other rhythm guitarist. Uh -huh. And Harrow, obviously, um, you know, he, um, he doesn't really like us. I think I know the bass player that's that going to play in also. there. Yeah, he told me about this a uh, couple months ago. I was tattooing and uh, he mentioned he's going to play in a bass for, uh, for, for a legion. So, but I'm not, I don't remember what his name I just because I was tattooing. When he mentioned about that, ah, that's good, eh? Good to know. Yeah, I think he's visited the band, so yeah. Yeah, so that's October October twenty second. So yeah, we'll be. I think we're opening up for him. So I've got the. That's what I mean. I've got all these new guys now, so I'm going to try and train them up for three months to get at least a few of the songs so we can play. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, reckon I'm after this? Law, so can, do you reckon after this COVID? Get them up to speed. After this COVID, do you reckon everything uh, changing after this situation? The COVID. Do you reckon everything changing? Oh, mate, it's, everything's gone to shit, seriously. You know, there's two years of, like, bankrupting the world. You know, like, everyone's... You know, we used to... Australia used to owe, owe half a billion dollars. Now we owe $1.33 trillion, you know what I mean? For what? You know, I, I, I hate COVID. 
I'm still talking to you. You know, I'm not I'm not a walking corpse. I could yeah. be a walking corpse. Um, There's always flies around. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's, you that's know, it. Like, yeah, but... I don't know. I don't know anything because, like, you know... I'm just, me and myself, I'm just really concerned. I know. In the, in the, in the government, like, you know, you, you know the government's like an... In oh, yeah. At the moment, Indonesian okay. government is that they are in the top. They're, they're in the best thing, yeah. In their best time in the, Indonesia, at the moment with their with their our president, they're like, he's an amazing person. But what really worry me now, like country like, uh, like what do you call that one, like America and the Russian thing, it just hurt my feeling, you know. I mean, like we talk like we're heading for a world peace, but obviously things going worse, you know. You know that's that. I mean, like, I'm I watching in the YouTube so many times, how many fucking homeless in L.A., in America? It's a homeless town in L.A. And, uh, but they have the money to... Yeah, it's, it's... Yeah, but it's it's really bad over there, man. Like, I went to the casinos area. Vegas. Um, you, go two, you go two streets behind the casinos, there's homeless everywhere. This is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? This is like, what I'm saying. America... America America is really bad. You go through Europe. Even the Hollywood, Hollywood like, they reckon is the shit. You know, so like, yeah, the world's not in a good place, man. And like, USA is causing majority of all the problems from the last two years, starting from the BLM up to the COVID and up to everything else. Now they're the world just going crazy. Eh? Yeah, you know, they're like. Um, you know, they're trying to, like, get everyone together and, like, they're picking on the biggest dictator that's ever been, you know, there, which is Putin. You know, like, he's he's a real dictator. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know, I know. The new dictator in town is, like, trying to tell them what to do and they're going, whoa, 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 whoa. But at the same like, time, no, but, but at the same time about the democracy bullshit thing, have a look at the fucking, uh, the Ukrainian president. He's a fucking dictator. He's, you know what I mean? I mean, with the Nazi and, then, and then shit. They're going to try and pick on China. You know, like, you got like you got Australia, all right, openly saying we're going to arm Taiwan because we think fucking China's going to like take a. Why the hell would you do that for? Why would you poke that dragon? You know, it's bad enough you were say poking the bear. You know, like they just all they want to be doing is just left alone and do. They, they got their look. No, no country is perfect. You know, China's got their problems, all right, as much as fucking everyone else. You know, they've got a population problem. And they've they've done the thing where they told their people like you can't have whatever. But they, 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 they know what to do, you know, but everyone just keeps meddling in their affairs, you know what I mean? I know, you know man. Like, oh, that's not fair how you treat your people, you know? Like, leave them fuck alone, all right? If you want to associate with them, associate with them. Don't bag them as biased as person. Don't bag you, you know? I know, <laughs> man. I know. I mean, like... Getting, our democracy is getting too woke, mate, you know? Like, and if you push the wrong people, like, you don't push, you don't push China. Jesus Christ, you don't push Russia either. Like, you know, fair enough, they're communists. You watch the movies. They're movies for a reason, mate. You know, they're fiction. Oh, that's Hollywood, you know? Uh, yeah, so, like, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, mate. Everything, I'm... like, I, I just turn off the TV, like, the news. You can't trust the, the mainstream media anymore. Like, you got it, you got if it. You go back 20, if you go back 20 years, all right, Channel 7, Channel 9, and Channel 10 only just started. You're lucky to get one hour, you know, half an hour news every day, all right? You maybe have a midday show of a half an hour. If you wanted one hour, you had to go to Channel 2, all right, to get one hour of news, all right? Now, it's 24-7. You know what I mean? I know, it's I know. 24-7. They've, they've made it a business of snagging or speaking. I, uh, yeah. I, I stopped watching a news or television long, long time ago. I using uh, most of the time I'm only using YouTube. I don't listen to radio at all anymore. I just using a YouTube as my main my main uh, information. But I mean, like with the politician also, uh, I learning I learning this one to stay away from them and not to trust them. Did you remember when the Greens starting themselves? Yeah. Remember the Midnight Oil themselves? Yeah. Peter Garrett. <laughs> Come on, come on! Yeah, that is like, such yeah, an eye opening. Yeah, like, yeah, like mid mid of the band, you know, like when he when he joined the Labour Party, he got sucked in to do the you know the, the pink bat thing, and he did like deep down they didn't really because I was I was part of the Labour Party, right? Again, this, that's why I tell you about is, this. They, 
Yeah, but not anymore. Not anymore. I didn't resign because they're just a bunch of lies. Because the Liberals and the Labour are all the same, you know? Yeah, I know. They're all playing, politicians the same. On the screen. They're, they're, they're telling, they're, they're, they're making it look like they're opposition. Yeah. But when the TV's off, behind closed doors... Oh, they're second you know, hand. They're fucking cuddling each other. Yeah, and like in the early days of Bob Hawke and that, right? Yeah. Um, Bob Hawke would take a plane somewhere. Bob is Indonesian paper, you press it on. next to him. Yeah. Yeah, the opposition would be sitting next to him. If obviously you want to get in the plane, Bob Hawke would tell him to get the fuck off and catch a bus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's opposition. Yeah, you know? yeah. I know what you mean. It just, it just, it's just amazing how the thing that we see every day is just amazing, isn't it? It's just such a fucking. I don't believe it. Like, I know. That's what I say. I open up. Yeah. Well, there's there's not many people awake, mate. I tell you. And at the moment, there's only five percent of us awake. You know. Yeah. A lot of people have like fallen for all this bullshit. You know what I mean? Like the Black Lives Matter thing. You know, like. Oh, he was racially killed. And I said, do you realise there was an... Um, He's a like fucking a, criminal, that bastard. There were five cops. There was two There was two white. There was an Asian. No, he's a fucking colored. criminal, that guy. He's a badass criminal. I know, people don't understand America. You know, like, yeah, I know. You know, like, everyone has guns. So, of course, they're going to shoot them first. If they don't have a gun, they're going to hold them because they don't know if they're concealing a gun. That's the way that... You know, like an Aussie girl got shot. She called the cop. Yeah, I remember that. There's someone burglar. I remember that. She went out there because he went the wrong way to let him know, oh, no, you're going the wrong way. You know, and he just turned around and shot her. Because, yeah. you know, because they're people. I remember like, that. Know, they, they yeah, I remember killed. that. Also. Killed all the time. And the guy just on the cop. Yeah. It's all over the news. Yeah. He's supposed to spend 12 years. He's only did three. You know, but. America's crazy, man. Like, I've been there. Like, when we got there, like, they got no health care system. Yeah. It's oh, not yeah. they're dead. You don't call them, but you've yeah. got to call the police. <laughs> also. And when we went to the hotel, somebody launched himself off the fucking balcony here in a minute. I'm like, Jesus Christ, man. Seriously. And one thing. Uh, it's a crazy place. Man. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about the Australian political party and things like that, one thing I sort of like feeling not there. It's Australian young people, I reckon. They uh, they need to get involved with the politics a little bit. They they don't know much about the politics of their country. I noticed that. There are a lot of people in Australia. They don't care what's happening in the government. You know what yeah, I mean? Because they're too busy being yeah, but they're too busy being entitled. Do you understand that? Yeah. A lot of the young people have got no, no accountability. And, and they, they think they should have it without the hard work. Because this little screen which they glue to, every 24-7 they can't get their face off, they've been told that. Oh, you can do this, you know. The government was just throwing money at people to get their vote. You know what I mean? So they believe they can, they can receive it for nothing and sit there with this big fucking TV screen and a house and a home, whatever. Born the future. The generation is... We're stuck. We're, I we're know, stuck, man. We're stuck. But I can understand they're trying to cull the stupid. Like before, I was I was peeved. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now I understand why they're doing it. There's a lot of idiots out there, and I'm not going to actually shed a tear when it, if it actually if it's true and it happens. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. Oh, we can't do this. We're going to keep the keys. Well, this is, this is a problem because I'm living in a two different country. I mean, like, I come from, I come from a different country. So I sort of, like, really see what's going on. What's the difference, you know what I mean? I mean, everything is the overkill is no good, you know. There's something good about this, but something not good about that, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I reckon Australian young people, young people in Australia, should involve a little bit more with the politics. They should. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen like through the um, the membership. There is a little, but they're being misdirected. You know what I mean? Like with um, the independents, right? So like for the last election, we got an extra nine independents, right? For some reason, like um, I agree with some of the parties with um, Pauline Hand. I'm a good player. I'm a good player. Pauline Hand. The stuff that she does. I know her. She's like she's she. She pisses off a lot of people. They put her in jail for a reason. Yeah, I know, but at the same time, but at the same time, 
she gotta do what she have to do for her for her party. I mean, like like everything else, you know. The controversy is a sell. You know what I mean? But it's like anything with the with Trump or with everything, all right. Even though you didn't live in that country over in America, a lot of people hated him because of what the media like done, all right. A lot of people are easily persuaded. You know, they don't want to think for themselves because it's too hard. Ah, ah, you know, they'd rather you, you tell them. Yeah. And okay, cool. And, and a lot of people just don't want the hassle. You know what I mean? Mm. And that's why like, there's a lot more conflict now because there's, uh, there's a lot more cowards able to get on and keyboard warrior and do this shit, you know? Oh, tell me about it, man. I get attacked all the time. Oh, tell me about it. I get attacked all the time, bro. And I actually go to a gig, all right, and I see the people that have been attacking me online. Not one of them will come face to face to me and tell me what Tell me about it. You know, or say what they were. Yeah, they, 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 you know, they get sorted out. You know, like, it's just like, yeah, it's just... And people get, like, really frustrated over this sort of stuff. I'm just like, I just ignore them. I said, look, they're not going to say to me face to face. If they do, well, then they'll reap the rewards, you know? <laughs> I understand what I mean, man. It's crazy. It's crazy that like the more you see things, man, the more you understand them, you wish you are fucking blind and deaf. Sometimes, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah, well, you, you know, the, the, the early days, the people disliked you. Know? They just wouldn't talk to you. Why do you think? Yeah. I, why do you think my company called? Yeah, they would avoid you. They wouldn't. You wouldn't see them. Yeah. Why do you think my company called uh, uh, General Public? Why do you think I put my company? In? Yeah. Because that's what I experienced, xenophobia, every fucking day, you know what I mean? Nah, no, I don't give a shit about it, but I'm a lot thicker nowadays than when I was younger. Nowadays, I don't give a shit what people are saying, I don't give a shit what their opinion, you know what I mean? I just carry on, you know? That's all you can do, mate, you know, like, you can't please everyone, you know? If, know. Sometimes you might do something wrong, sometimes you don't, you know? Yeah. I just hoping. But, um, yeah, you can't. I know. I just hoping this. Uh, there's all this bullshit that happening at the moment. I just wish. I just wish, helping the music instead. Dividing us. I like how music sometimes actually it's the only medium that can unite people. You know. Uh, yeah, you, but the, yeah, at the moment the scene the scene is quite split. You know, it, but, but it's also split because we've got more. Or genres, you know. So even now, the metal scene is more the deathcore scene. Yeah, so I know. The deathcore gig, that's probably that's like metal gig probably twenty years ago. I know. So you know, um, the old school thrash, you know, if it comes back and it comes in ways and comes in strengths, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. So even then, like even with all the stuff the last two years, that split the scene as well, you know. And a lot of people are competing. So you know, like we used to like. When I used to organise gigs, I used to like incorporate everyone. You yeah, know? yeah. Mate, there was you no know, like two or three gigs, metal gigs on the same night. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, know I mean? you know the band called Machine Head. And the people get. Do you, what? Machine Head. Oh yeah, yeah machine fucking head. Machine <laughs> fucking. Hey, I, I, I won't lie to you. Huh? Uh, fucking now. <laughs> So I got to tell you. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I'm, I'm following, uh, I'm following Rob Lynn, the singer. He's fucking unique person. I like it. What he's doing now with everything, he's the only person that I think that still metal. The rest is fucking going down. I reckon he is still metal. Do you show? Do you see the one, the happy hour that he did all the time? He playing in front of the fucking Facebook. Yeah. Facebook live, Facebook live. I remember that from him all the time. He doing the Facebook. He play the song. He sing other people's song. But my God, what he did! Yeah, but, it, but talking talking to a lot of the bands, like especially when the internet kicked in and all the downloads, like they everyone lost a lot of everyone's losing a lot of money. You know, a lot of them are stuck on these festival tours because that's all they've got. You know what I mean? There's no money made anymore. Like Metallica can still make the money. Kiss all the old school before yeah. the internet. Yeah, yeah but, no, but listen to this. Yeah, the one stage before the, uh, the last gig recently. But listen to this. Oh, what a, what a, what a look. Uh, have you heard the thing called a uh, third industrial revolution? Like how, how the, to the future we're going to be rely on the internet and everything is about internet, yeah? Uh, I think what Rob Flynn did, what he did, because I follow his movement, 
he is very smart and uh, the first time he started for about a year at least he didn't monetizing what he doing but now if you go into his Facebook live you will see it actually the emoji you know that fucking whatever the fuck they call it is selling it's yeah. actually making money from it now he make money from worldwide yeah yeah, but it's only it's only minority it's only the minority that I make <laughs> No no you should price you know I mean? No you should price I tell you this man I tell you this I know many people are not gonna believe that they, this internet you remember the you remember uh, gangnam style it's a gangnam style you know do you know how much money he make the past year the past year how much money he make from YouTube alone Eight million. That's a lot of downloads, man. <laughs> That's not download. No, 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 no. It's not download. It's all about from the monetized from YouTube. YouTube alone, just people. Yeah, yeah. The money, with where the money is, is the advertising they put prior to the to the the video. It's like you only get paid, all right, if you do a YouTube video, all right, you get paid 0. 0.000015. I've been there. Over I've been there. Over 30 seconds, all right? I've been there. Okay. Yeah. So if you dig it to, if you to get $1, it's something like, uh, like 30,000. I know, that. I know, I know. I don't know if you know about this one. In 2016, I got a one video. When the ISIS, the, the Islamic things doing a lot of crazy things and uh, they're doing a lot, of, a lot of crazy things and I make one video that time I was criticizing them I was fucking having a go with them in Indonesia uh, I reached about 6 million pure 6 fucking million pure yeah, the new, the new money thing at the moment, which you see everyone's doing. Yeah, that's it, man. Um, you know, bands, the bands have like, uh, there's a fresh band in Substrate called Hit It in 10. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, they have like, um, uh, what do you call it? A VIP um, uh, subscription. All right. It's not cost just man. Cost you. Four dollar, uh, 15, 15, 15 uh, bucks. It's like a dollar, a dollar, a dollar, a dollar 25 a month. All right. Then you can view all their things coming and all their videos and all their touring stuff and all that sort of stuff. And then you go to the lottery for like a, you know, like a what are your shirts and stuff like that. You're talking so such a small number, my friend. Five a month, and you, have, and you have ten thousand subscribers. That's money. You're talking about small number, my friend. YouTuber, yeah, that YouTuber that doing a Star Wars, yeah, that Star Wars YouTuber just just theory and shit like that but membership with him 15 fucking dollar per month yeah jesus christ yeah, yeah. you talking about one dollar no the cheapest one you get four dollar fifty you understand what i mean now <laughs> so why do you think why do you think joe rogan can make a shit lot money from this youtube because to the future the future is gonna be internet. It's based internet based. You gotta check in that video called Third Industrial Revolution. First Industrial Revolution when they when they discovered the steam engine. Second one they discovered the telephone. Now we're heading to the third one, the internet. That's so why we got Ola, Uber, fucking uh, you know everything else based on the internet. Like even the yeah, car. I'm trying, um, was Get rid of cash, it'll be on credit, everything will be on numbers, and then it'll crash. <laughs> well, have a look at the fucking... Have a look at the crypto now, have a look at the crypto. That's it. That's it. Have a look at the crypto. Control, like, it's easy, like, you can just sit there... They collapse. Whatever, and then they just pull the plug. I know, the I know, they collapse. You know? If you want me to plug it back in, it's coming. I want, I want 90% of your profit. Oh, but, but, but. Pull the plug. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't, we don't, we're, we're, 
We just stowaways on this thing, mate. I know. Who controls this? You know what I mean? I know. They're making you reliant. I know. That's that's the virus. They're making you reliant on it. That you have to survive with it, and all of a sudden, all the plus. I call it. I call it like a bird in the future. It's like the banker. Yeah. The system has become like a banker system. I mean, like how the banker make their money, how you know they loan fucking number. They don't loan nothing, and we pay for some shit to the future. You know, I reckon that's the problem. The biggest problem in the whole world is like everyone start becoming like a banker. You know what I mean? That's how the banker I reckon make their money. Yeah, well, greed is, yeah, well, is the root of all evil, bud. So that's where it's. Don't we all? That's, no. the way, that's the way it's always been. Yeah, I know. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that, that, that just, you know, like I said, you know, if you're a poor man, you're a happy man. <laughs> me, I'm... Because there's nothing you can else lose. There's me, I'm happy. You can, lose. you can always, like, say, oh, you can like, be whatever. Yeah. It's all those rich people, man. They're not fucking happy. I know. <laughs> but, me, I reckon, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm 50 this year, next year. I think I'm 49 now. I reckon... For the last six years, I've never been that much happy. I just relax now, guys. I don't have to worry about nothing. I don't worry about shit anymore. My life's good. You know? My life at the moment. Yeah. 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 yeah because I believe like happiness is a, uh, it's a state, state of mind. You can make yourself happy. You can make yourself sad. Nothing physical about it. So, yeah, I think I'm doing all right at the moment, you know? I just want to... Yeah, it's good, man. Like, you need... Just have to make enough to fucking yeah survive. Really. Yeah, exactly. But I don't have any. Like to do. I never, I never worry about tomorrow. I mean, like I have enough money to put on food. I guess I'm lucky, you know. I'm blessed with the what the thing that I do. You know, I never worry about drugs. I never worry about this, about that. I live my life in the best way. I mean, like as you know, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in nothing. So people asking me, what's the meaning of life? To me, this is the meaning of life. What I am now, what I'm doing now, that's the meaning of life to me. I'm in the best, I'm in the best, uh, what do you call that? The best moment in my life, I reckon. You know, we can talk like this now, I can talk to you, I can do this, I can do that one. So yeah, I'm doing good, I reckon. Yeah, like even with the music, man, like I've got family, work, and the band. You know yeah, what I, mean? I know. So even with the new guys. With the new guys, you know, like um, the other guitarist, he's, he's a bit more progressive. Yeah, that's good. That's so good. We're, you know, so I'm, I'm adding a bit more progressive feel into um, the fifth album. That's you know, good. I still yeah. have a bit of metal in there. You want, you want it's it. It's a different. You want and pause. You want the band. You, know? you don't want the artist. You know what I mean? You don't want the individual artist. You want to keep that as the band. Yeah. Who give a shit how many this changing, changing that one? But as a band, you want that, that, that name always remember. You know what I mean? It's a band like that in Indonesia, if you oh, know. Yeah. It's a really good really... thing. Is always to have fun. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people, a lot of people playing bands to be miserable. Well, they'll always have, they'll always have regrets because they're the ones that did you know break up. You know, like yeah, yeah. I've had so many like good memories. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, my if you having fun, a good time, know? it's all about, there's, isn't there's it? No money, you know. Yeah, there's no money. There's no money in for us. Our type of like low scale original acts, you know. I tell unless you about it. Tell, unless one song gets there, you know. Yeah. But you still, you still get treated as as if you know you're one of the guys up from another country. I've had I've had one dude um because we used to do a lot of um um CD comps. So I think it was a Brutalica magazine in Bulgaria. Uh -huh. Had one kid. Do a world do a world tour. I made sure he came past Perth just watching Forks. Yeah. So in his eyes, I was fucking rock. So we we had him in him like we played, and there was about three hundred people, and he was astounded why there wasn't in more people there. And he was just like, "Mate, if you're in my country, you play into five thousand. He was in awe, and he just he couldn't believe that he was standing there with a band from another country that he loved, and we were buying him drinks. Yeah, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> well, but by the same time, as much as when I met. But at the yeah, same time, that's what that you want to see, like, you know what I mean? You're happy yeah, about it. You know, like... Yeah, like I've been... You make him happy, that is the matter. Hang up with the, yeah, hang up with the dudes, but him off, Kripopsy, yeah. yeah. Obituary. Yeah. They're just normal people. I they're know. Normal people like you and me, but... I know, I know. Their job is just to play. As, as you know, I used to do in the sound wave in the big day out. 
other than all of the experience. I remember fucking cleaning everybody else fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> the big dog and sound wife. I'm the only person have a gadja in her. I remember, I remember devil driver, uh, all that remind. They all come up to me, ask me for some ganja. And like, how are they begging me for that? I was like, oh my God, you know what I mean? So like I say, yeah, bottom line, I reckon I'm doing okay. I'm happy and I'm not complaining about anything. You know what I mean? It's, I'm just only complaining That's about the good. government in the world, you know? All right, my friend. Thank you very much for uh, for the time that you spend with me, and uh, hopefully uh, to see your band in the future. And for the people that see this video, they can get something out of it. And all the best to yeah, you. Yeah, well, we um, so the Allegiance gig. Yeah, Allegiance gig, mate. So October twenty yeah. second at the Charles. No worries, yeah. mate. If I have the time, I make sure I will come. By the same time, I will remind people about yeah, it. Yeah, I will, I will. If you're down there, let me know. Oh, um, I don't drink beer, and I obviously don't have beer on the, on the, on the rider, so you're going to mind. Yeah, in other words. Well, thank you very much, my friend. I will speak to you next time, and I will right, see you. Right. No worries. Thank you very much. No worries, buddy. No worries, buddy. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> yeah. See you, bud. See you, bud. All right, 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 all right. That's my last conversation before with the boys, the singer from. Hang on a second. Well. That's our video from today with the uh, singer from uh, Enforce. They the boys just been to Indonesia before, and uh, they went to solo. They playing in solo back in the day. So you guys know them. They are from Perth, Western Australia, and such a good time to talk to him and it's quite good to hear what other people think in this scene that we are you know what i mean the metal scene uh, i will try to get different person next time talking to you guys so you can hear what you're gonna say and uh hang on and uh that is the today's or this week interview and we'll get back to you guys for the next one thank you very much hopefully see you again I'd rather be rain in hell than slave in heaven Jason to Tagalong Jahat Multipers talk to you guys later bye bye please uh, share subscribe and like it and because you know that's how so we can have a better video Thank you. Bye-bye.